That was the youngest for Liverpool in a major semi-final for quite some time. We're joking and laughing at the moment about Conor Bradley and the performance and shift that he put in. He will sleep well tonight. He will. He will. I'm not sure he makes it home, so probably he will fall asleep in the dressing room. It's like exceptional. What a boy. A wonderful, fantastic character, real talent, top potential. And he's in the right team because everybody loves him, everybody respects him, everybody wants him to succeed. It's really nice. So yes, that was a great, um, a great game. With all the difficulties you have in a football game, it was super hard, super tough. Somehow he was involved as well in the goal we conceded, and falling over the ball or whatever. Um, but as a team, it was obviously first half. We 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 caused ourselves some problems. It's a really compact defending Fulham. We played a lot around, we, and then we stuck on the wing. No um, fluidity there, and we had to change that. We had to play more in the half spaces, and we, we tried. Well, we, well, we, we changed that in half time, and the boys did really well then. But we, coming into the second half, they had the, the big counter-attacking chances. In the end, we defended it somehow, but there was a lot of space there. So we had to reorganize protection as well. Did that, and then we were in the game, and then we were dominant, and then we scored, and then everything was fine. Curtis Jones, another member from the academy that's progressed into the first team, getting regular game time as well. He scores again, player of the match. But it just goes to show about the spirit and belief in this group of players that even with players that aren't available to you to select, you have that power of recovery to get yourselves through. Yeah, no, look, it, was, it wasn't our best game that we've ever played, but it's not about that in moments like this. And I told the boys, we are human beings, and human beings go for excuses. It's easy. You don't even want it when you find an excuse for something. And, um, and that's what before the game, I love the lineup. But it's much more important that the boys love the lineup because that's that's how it is. If we are get into a game and think, oh, okay, how can that work? And blah blah blah, he's missing and he was maybe have a problem. But that was not our problem today. The boys love playing. The boys were loved, um, putting a proper shift in. The only the only thing is, we had football problems. So it means, in the end, it was like, when, if Connor got the ball on the right wing, he got it. He had to stop his run and get a ball back because the pass was not right. If Joey got the ball on the left wing, and was pretty much our only wingers really, he just could not um, go from there, not go to the touchline, not for the cross, nothing. It was always too late, too, too, too slow. And we had to change that. And we, we did that. And then all of a sudden, the half spaces were there. Then the wing was there and all these things. It was then a good game. And the crowd was there, obviously. We, by the way, they were all the time there. We just didn't give a lot to cheer for in the first half. But second half, it was yeah, proper, proper, all around Liverpool performance. And we won the game. It's the first leg, nothing else. But um, because it was always clear that we will not win it with a result that we don't have to show up anymore at Fulham, um, it's just clear. It's half time, good. And now we go there. I know Fulham did frustrate you um, during this first leg. Are you expecting similar in the second? As obviously they're going to try and get themselves back into it and try and progress. Tottenham is a really good team. It all depends who is available. Baba Baha when they bring stuff like this. Um, can you play against us purely offensive? No. Um, then we hit you on the uh, on the counter attack and stuff like this. But it will be an open game. That's a football. It's not like that. It's not that easy that we say they have now to win and we can sit back and stuff like this. It's not that easy. So we have to. We, if we want to go to the final, and that's absolutely fair. If we want to go to the final, we need we need a really good game at Fulham and we need a result. Um, and if not, then more than welcome and congratulations to Fulham. Then they go to the final. That's how it is in these moments. Um, but for now. Time off. Yes, it's fine. And after the press conference, I will not think for a second uh, for a while about all these things. Brilliant stuff. Well, enjoy your break. Thank you.